Welcome back to my channel and FB page GTR Match Tutorial. So for today's vi uh, video, we will continue the uh, discussion on integration of rational fractions. So case number two, so number three and four. So I hope you already watched the first part, the case number one. Okay, so case number two, if a linear factor AX plus B occurs N times as a factor of the denominator, there corresponds to this factor N partial fractions. So we have A sub 1 over AX plus B plus A sub 2 over AX plus B square plus A sub 3 over AX plus B cube plus dot 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 up to A sub N over AX plus B to the N. Okay, so if, if the exponent is to the fifth, therefore we have five partial fractions. If cube, we have three partial fractions. So you, let's uh, try to solve uh, number three and four. Try to solve, for, solve first before watching my solution. So it's a combination of case one and case two. Okay, so let's try number three. Okay, number three. So first... Uh, uh, first, uh, we need to factor the denominator. So, we have y to the fourth minus y cubed. So, try the common common uh, monomial. So, we factor out y cubed. Okay? So, it's equal to integral of 3 y squared minus y plus 1 all over factor out the common y cubed and then y to the fourth divided by y cubed is y and then y cubed divided by y cubed you have minus 1. Okay, so it's now in the form. So we have y cube, we have exponent of 3, so therefore that is case 2. And then we have factor of uh, y minus 1, so case 1 for this for this one. Okay, so let's now solve for... Uh... Okay, so we isolate first this term and then solve for the constant a, b, c, and d. Okay, so we have 3y squared minus y plus 1 over y cube. And then y minus 1. So we have y cubed. So therefore, that we have three, three factors for this term. And then for y minus 1, we only have 1 since there is no exponent. So this is now equal to a over y cubed. So we, have, we, we start with a over y plus b over y squared plus c over y cubed. Okay. And then, so the, no exponent. So we have plus d over y minus 1. Okay, so to solve for a, b, c, and d, so we just need to multiply both sides of the equation by this term to get rid of the denominator y cubed times y minus 1. Okay, so just cancel this. So what's left in the left side is 3y squared minus y plus 1 equal. So let's divide this. y cubed divided by uh, y, that is y squared, times this. So we have a times ay squared times y minus 1. Okay, so plus b, divide this, y cubed divided by y squared, that is y times y minus 1. Plus c, divide this, y cubed over y cubed, so cancel out y cubed, so we have c times y minus 1, and then for this one, just cancel out y minus 1, so what's left is dy cubed. Okay, so now uh, let's uh, uh, let's simplify first. Multiply the a and b. So simplify three y squared minus y plus one equal. So this, just distribute this and also this one, and then copy the rest. So we have a times y squared times y. We have y cubed. Y squared times negative one. We have negative y squared plus b. Y times y. We have y squared y times negative 1, negative y, plus c times y minus 1, plus d, y cubed. So our highest exponent is y cubed. So therefore, uh, by equating coefficient, we start with y cubed, y squared, y, and the constant. Okay, let's start with y cubed. So we have y cubed here, and also y cubed for this one. So therefore, the coefficients are a, and then plus d, equals, there is no y cube in the left side, so therefore equals 0. And then for y squared, we have y squared negative, negative a. And then another y squared here, by squared, so we have plus b equals 
y squared coefficient is 3. So, a plus b equals 3. And then next for the coefficient y, for the coefficient y, okay, we have y here, so negative. So, we have negative b and then another one here, cy. So, there we, therefore, we have plus c equals the coefficient of coefficient of y is negative 1. Negative y or that is equal to negative 1. And then last for the constant, we only have one constant and this is the constant, negative 1. So that is negative c equals the constant in the left side is equal to equal to 1. Okay, so therefore from this, the value of uh, negative c equals 1. So just multiply both sides by negative. So therefore, c equals negative 1. Okay, so let's start from this. Uh, c equals negative 1, substitute to this part. So therefore, we have negative b. So negative b, c is negative 1. So minus 1 equals negative 1. So we, uh, we can cancel negative 1 by adding 1 to both sides. So therefore, negative b equals 0 or simply b equals 0. Okay. Okay, so b equals 0, so therefore, this is 0, we can cancel out this, so therefore, negative a, negative a equals 3, so that means a equals negative 3. Okay, and then a is negative 3, so therefore, we have from this part, we have negative 3, that's the value of a plus d equals 0. So add 3 to both sides, so therefore, d is equal to positive 3. Okay, so therefore, uh, let's substitute this and then put the integral symbol. Therefore, our integral, integral of this is equal to, let's start with a, so that is negative 3, integral of, let's just put the integral sign and dy to all these terms, to all these terms, yan. Okay, so we have dy over y, and then b is 0, so no need to write, no need to write this part. Okay, then we have C. So we have C is negative 1. So we have negative uh, C over Y cube. C over Y cube or simply uh, we can put Y cube in the numerator to make it a uh, negative exponent. Y raised to negative 3 dy. Okay, so because we will use the formula for this is integral of U to the N du. Okay, equals U to the N plus 1 over N plus 1. Okay, so we put y, y cube in the numerator to make it negative. Okay, so plus the value of d is 3. So we have 3 integral of dy over y minus 1. For this part and this part, so we, we can use the integral of du over u because our u are y and y minus 1 and the differential of y and y minus 1 are both equal to dy. So it's in the form du over u. Okay, so let's uh, get the integral of this. So we have all uh, direct formula. So negative 3. So du over u. So that is l and y. And then we use the u to the n du for this one. So we have minus. Just add 1 to the exponent. y raised to negative 3 plus 1. So that is negative 2 over negative 2. And then we have plus 3 ln of y minus 1 plus c. Okay, so let's just simplify this part. So therefore, we have negative 3 ln y negative of negative. So that is, uh, that is positive 1 over 2y square. Okay, plus 3 ln of y minus 1 plus c. So this is the final answer or if you want, you uh, we can combine the negative 3 ln y and 3 ln y minus 1. If we can apply the property of logarithm, we have ln a minus ln b that is equal to ln a over a over b. Since we have both uh, positive, uh, we, we both have 3. So we can... Uh, Rewrite this as 3 ln of the positive 1 will be in the numerator, y minus 1 over the negative will be in the denominator, plus 1 over 2y squared plus c. So this is the final answer. 
Okay, so the, this is the simplest form. We just combine the ln. Okay, so next number, number 4. Number 4, integral of x squared minus 2x plus 2 dx over x minus 1 and x times x minus 2 is square. So it's already in a factored form. So we can just uh, solve for the coefficients for or for the a, b, and c. So let's isolate this part. So we have x squared minus 2x plus 2. So for this part, it is case 1. And then for this part, this is case number 2. Okay, so over x minus 1 times uh, x minus 2 is squared. So that is equal to for case 1. So we have a over x minus 1 since there is no exponent. For this part, we have exponent of 2. So therefore, we have plus b over x minus 1 plus c over x minus, uh, sorry, this is 2, x minus 2, x minus 2 is square. Okay? So, multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator, x minus 1 times x minus 2 is square. So, of course, this will be canceled out. So, we have x squared minus 2x plus 2 equals so we can cancel out x minus 1 so we have a times x minus 2 squared plus so this is minus 2 and then divide this x minus 1 times x minus 2 squared so we can cancel out 1 x minus 2 just subtract 1 here so we have b times uh, x minus 1 times x minus 2 and then for the last term just cancel out x minus 2 squared and x minus 2 squared we have c times x minus x minus 1. Okay, and then uh, let's uh, simplify. Simplify this, x minus 2 squared, and then simplify this part. Then copy the rest. So we have x squared minus 2x plus 2 equals a. So use the square of binomial. So we have direct formula for that. a minus b squared that is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, so that is squared the first term, x squared minus 2ab. So 2 times x times 2. So that is 4x squared the last term, 2 squared that is plus 4. Okay, plus, so for this one, uh, we just uh, multiply multiply out uh, foil method, x times x is x squared and then inner or your outer is we have x times negative 2, we have negative 2x. For the inner, negative 1 times negative x, we have negative x. And then for the outer, so this x squared, for the outer, we have negative 1 times negative 2, that is equal to positive 2. And then combine the middle terms. So we have negative 2x and negative x, that is equal to negative 3x. So we have b times uh, x squared minus 3x plus 2. And then plus c times x minus 1. Okay, so now uh, we can uh, equate the coefficients. The highest is square. So x square, x, and the constant. Okay, so let's equate the, co the coefficient of x square. There's no x square for c. So therefore, the coefficient of x square here is a. Coefficient of x squared here is positive b equals the coefficient of x squared is 1. There is no coefficient, so that means 1. Okay, next for the x term. Okay, for the x term, we have 3x, negative 4a, and then negative 3b. And then we have positive c equals this, this one negative equals negative 2. And then for the constant term, we have 4. So that is 4a. So we have 4a. And then we have 2b. So we have 4a plus 2b. And then this one is negative 1c or negative c equals positive 2. Okay, equals positive 2. Okay, so this is equation number 1, equation number 2, and equation number 3. Okay, so we can simply add equation number 2 and number 3. As you can see, we have opposite, negative 4a and positive 4a. If we add, we can cancel this and also this one. 
positive C minus C, that will be 0 and also this. Okay, so let's add the equation 2 and 3. If we add equation 2 and 3, we can simply cancel this. Negative 4A plus 4A, cancel. C minus C, cancel, that is 0. Negative 2 plus 2, that is also 0. So therefore, negative 3B plus 2B, that is negative B equals 0. And therefore, B is equal to 0. Okay, B equals 0. Okay, since B equals 0, we can solve for, uh, for A here. So we have A plus B equals 1. So therefore, A, B is 0. So therefore, A equals 1. Okay, and then we can solve for, substitute for equation 2 or 3. Let's try number 3. Substitute the value of A and B in number 3. Okay, so for equation number 3, the value of A is 1. So we have 4 times 1 plus 2. The value of B is 0. So 2 times 0 minus C equals 2. So this is 0. Cancel this. Subtract 4 to both sides. So we have negative C is equal to 2. Subtract 4. So that is equal to negative 2. Therefore, C is equal to positive 2. Now we go back to, to this part and put the dx and the integral symbol. So we have A. So for this part, okay, so we have in A, the value of A is 1. So we have integral of dx over x minus 1. B is 0, so therefore there's no need to write this part. We proceed to letter C. So we have C is positive 2. So we have plus 2. Integral of 2 integral of x minus 2 square. Okay, so we have x minus 2 in the denominator, uh, x minus 2 square. So if, if we put that in the numerator, that will become x minus 2 raised to negative 2 dx. Okay, so that we can use the integral of u to the n du. Okay, so therefore we have, we have direct formula for this. We have ln of x minus 1 and then for this one, we just apply the u to the n du. So we have plus 2 times, uh, just add 1 to this, x minus 2 over negative 2 plus 1. We have negative 1 over negative 1 plus c. So therefore, the final answer is equal to, just simplify this, ln of x minus 1. Positive 2 times negative 1, so that is equal to negative 2. And then put this back in that denominator, that will become x minus 2 plus c. And this is the final answer. Okay, so that's it. So I hope you learned something from this video and see you on our uh, next video on integration of rational fractions, case number 3. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye and God bless.